Hi everyone, this is a short video just to teach you how to tune your violins and violas because I'm not with you in person so I can't help you I'm afraid. So you can either ask um, an adult to help you or you can have a go by yourself. So the first thing is there are two ways to tune your instrument. Really you really only need to be doing the fine tuners which are these little black screws here. You might have gold screws or silver screws. We also have our pegs for if it's very out of tune. So this is my viola, in fact it's my son's viola, um, but the same applies to any instrument. If you've got a piano, you can play the A on the piano to start with. We always tune to A first, or you can have an app. So this app I've got on my phone is called Datuner, D-A-T-U-N-E-R, but there are loads you can use, it doesn't matter what you use. And it shows you, if I play a note, hopefully you can see it, it's telling me that's an A and the lights are green. That tells me that I'm in tune, my piano is in tune, that's good. So if I use that on my viola, that's telling me I'm in tune too, marvellous. Or I can play the A. and make sure that they are exactly the same. The most important thing when you're tuning is that you make a good sound on your violin or viola. I don't want to see any of this. Or any of this. We need a big, full, long bow making a big, full sound. Good. So I'm going to make it out of tune. Say you come to pick up your violin and viola and you play this. Hopefully you can all tell that that's out of tune. Certainly on my app, it's going crazy. It's going all sorts of funny colours. If I move it along, you might be able to see it. It's definitely not green. So you need to turn your fine tuner clockwise. So hopefully that looks clockwise to you. So you need to turn it maybe a quarter to a half a rotation. Let's try. Aha. So my app has turned green. And I can hear that it's in tune. So I tune like this. I bring my left hand round and I tune there and I'm still cradling my violin or viola here. I do see some students try and do this but that's not very good because you could easily drop your violin or viola there. If you can't hold it like this that's absolutely fine that takes a lot of practice. You can do this. Again, making sure you're still using that full big sound. Don't want to see this. Because you can't hear the note properly. When you've tuned your A, you're going to tune your D. You can either play it on the piano. Or you can play it into the app. Or you can tune D and A together. If you do it that way, we're looking for an open fifth sound. So it's straight down the middle, it's clean, it's precise, there's no wobbles. Let me see if I can demonstrate it on the viola. That sounds okay. So I took it out of tune and then turned it clockwise to make it go higher. If it was too sharp, let me show you that. So sharp means it's too high, so therefore I turn it anti-clockwise and it makes it go a bit lower. When you've done your D, you do your G. whatever method you want to use, the app, the piano or the fifth, and 
then you do your C. If you're a viola or if you're a violin, it would be an E. So I'm saying a fifth. The fifth is the difference between the notes. So say we said D to E, it's D, E, F, G, A. So it's just five notes. And all string instruments are, well, cello, violin, viola are based on fifths. So that's how we know we can tune it. When you're doing your E strings, be a little bit careful because it's a very thin string. So just be a little bit more careful with that one. So let's pretend now that it's really out of tune. I'm going to make my D string way out of tune. And you come to look at your violin and the D string is completely floppy like this. In fact, it's come off. So I'm just going to hook it back in. Same thing applies to the pegs. If you want to go higher, sharper, you turn it clockwise. If you want to go lower or flatter, you turn it anti-clockwise. I really hope that my hands are travelling in the right way for you. I'm having to do it backwards. So I'm just going to turn my peg like this. It doesn't matter how much you turn it. You really have to turn it a lot to break the string. But um, it's really important that you understand that the pegs are conical, so they go in at the end. They're, they're not cylinder. They're not exactly the same size. So when you're pushing it in, and turning it, it is really important that you do just that, push it in. Otherwise it'll slip. And I get a lot of questions about that. I get a lot of people saying to me, my peg's slipping, I can't get it to stick. And the only reason why is because they're not pushing it into the peg box when they're turning it. So we're gonna try and get that in tune. Stick it on your knee, just pluck it with your thumb and get it as close as you can. And then we go back to our fine tuners. So D, not in tune. There we go. There's the green arrows of happiness on my app. So hopefully that will help you. Most important things are that you are playing with a good full sound, that you're protecting your instruments at all time, you're not going to drop it and then you can use whatever method you want to tune it the best. Good luck. <laughs>